Hi everyone, welcome to a Sip and Spin Spindle Spotlight. Today's spindle is the Akka spindle. This spindle Josephine Watlin featured on her blog, so I'm going to go ahead and put a link to her video down in the description as well as where you can get this particular style. This is made by Straddle Creek Spins and I really like it because of the variegated whorl. This is a spindle that was designed primarily to spin cotton by the Aka people in Laos, as well as people that are growing cotton in Thailand and other Asian communities. It's unique because it's incredibly light. The whirl is in the middle and it's designed to be held and started horizontally. So what makes this spindle so unique is that we are going to insert the twist first horizontally and draft out, so almost like suspended park and draft, so getting that practice of drafting as you're spinning. Again, this would be a really great spindle to practice that or to get started on if you're just focusing on that pulling and drafting and getting into that rhythm of adding the twist as you're spinning. Once you get it drafted out to the length that you want, then you're going to flip it vertically and give it a really good twist to set the twist before winding on. So it's a little bit like a charka in nature in that you are step one, inserting the twist, step two, setting the twist before winding onto the spindle. So Josephine Watlin featured her spinning with the Akka using cotton, and I am going to start with cotton, but she also posed the query of wondering whether or not you could spin wool with this particular type of spindle as well. And so I'm going to do a little bit of both. I first want to get started with spinning, and I'm going to be very, I'm going to be very honest. Uh, one of the main reasons why I'm going to put her video in is because I believe she is demonstrating with combed top and and I just I I've not been able to make my hands and twist work in order to get a consistent single using perfectly aligned combed top like this I'm going back to or I'm going to be demonstrating with the upland seed fiber from hip strings and I'll put the link for them as well down in the description. But this is beautiful because it's woolen in nature and it's very rustic. The fibers are all going different directions and I don't know why, but I find it so much easier to spin when all of my cotton fibers are going in random and wildly different directions. So to get started, I am going to start the same way that I always do. I'm going to use my hook to kind of grab some of the fiber. So I have I have literally hooked some of the fiber and then I'm going to fold it over on itself and lose it. Fold it over on itself and start twisting. And I will draft out a little as I go. And I'll do it again. This is why cotton is my nemesis fiber. Its short staple length requires a lot of patience in my opinion. And this particular spindle is a very slow spindle. So it will definitely give the spinner time to focus on and concentrate on form and drafting. Okay. When in doubt, go with what you know. You can also start this as you would a drop spindle. Okay, now that I have the leader attached, I can start demonstrating using it as it was intended. So I am going to pull some of the fiber out. And as you can see, I've got these chunks in here. So I've already got some of these inconsistencies, but the twist has started. And so this is where I can go back in and even some of that up before I
set the twist. Now you can use your leg to set the twist. The one thing that you do want to make sure that you are not doing is you certainly, for this particular type of spindle, you really want to make sure that the, the twist doesn't travel past your fingers up at the top. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to draft out. So I'm going to do a quick check and make sure that it is secure. So again, this is just my leader. And, and my beginning fibers, my lead fibers, have a tendency to be a little bit more inconsistent, which interestingly enough, so do my end fibers, so it, it works out when I ply it. And I will wind on. All right, now I can draft out Go. So I'm using my thumb to quickly twist as I pull the fiber out, keeping it horizontal. Wanting to keep my shoulders down as well. I don't want to hunch my shoulders or I'm going to start getting a stiff neck. And I usually only go out ab about arm's width and that's simply because when I go this way, I don't want to overextend myself. And I'm not in a position to roll off my hip very well or I'll hit the wall. So I am going to put a couple spins in here. Do a quick check to make sure that it's going to hold wind on and then start drafting out again and so my twist hasn't gone very far One of the benefits with using an Akka style spindle to spin cotton is I can focus very, very closely on my drafting triangle and I am making sure that my fibers are the consistency that I want as I am drafting out. And I think that's probably one of the nicest things with this style of spindle. I don't have to work quickly. I can work deliberately and with good intention to get the single, the width that I want. And in this case, I am drafting out very fine. And the horizontal twist, I'm just getting enough twist in to hold the fibers together because then when I shift to vertical, that's when I will be setting the twist and making sure that the fibers aren't going to go anywhere. Push the table, let's see. Nope, I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough friction on my apron to get that good, that, that good roll. I need denim for that. So when I wind on a little bit, do a quick check to see. Again, this is going to be my finished thread with cotton on the Akka spindle. And again, I've chosen to spin thin 
I could certainly spin thicker if I chose to. I have lots and lots of options with this particular type of spindle because I'm controlling the twist. I'm controlling how fast and how fine the yarn is going to be. Now, seeing if this works with wool, I will do the same thing. Hang on, babe. So this particular fiber, these, uh, this is a mixed breed, so there are lots and lots of different fibers in here. I know Cheviot is one. I know that Southdown is in here as well. It is a down fiber, so it is very springy, which makes it a little bit more of a challenge to spin in some cases with a drop spindle. So I will go ahead and get this started in the same way that I have in other spindles, <laughs> the same way that I do with all of my spindles. Hop down, babe. Thank you. So I've got the little bit and I will go ahead and little bit easier. The wool wants to stick together, so drafting out this way is definitely a little bit quicker and easier because the fibers do want to hold together. Do a quick spin to get it to set. And then I will wind on. And so again, putting in the twist as I draft out. And putting in, setting the twist, winding on. Setting the twist, quick check to see if it is secure, winding on, and a quick fly back. So a ply back with wool on the Akka. Again, it's a mixed breed. And as you can see, even though this was a worsted prep, it was combed top, which means all of the fibers were aligned. And I was definitely spinning this, well, I was, I was spinning it woolen. I was pulling it and I'm not, I didn't squish all of the fiber out. So the final yarn on this would end up being a semi, semi woolen, semi worsted. And as you can see, it is light, airy, fluffy, and quite springy. So the Akka spindle, while traditionally designed to spin cotton, does also work well for spinning the shorter staple, shorter bouncier, shorter staple length wool fibers as well. So this is a quite, it, it is a uniquely universal style spindle. And I like the fact that while it might not be the quickest, it does give the spinner a lot of time to really focus on drafting the drafting triangle. I think this could be a really great way to practice or to get comfortable practicing long draw where you have control over the twist before going into a scenario where your 
uh, spindle or your wheel is spinning much faster and you have to process that drafting out much more quickly. So this is a great little spindle for practicing long draw. And I hope you enjoyed this one. This is kind of a unique spindle as well. You don't see this particular style used very often. If there are any other styles or makers of spindles that you would like to see, please drop those comments drop those suggestions down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Happy spinning.